Hey, birds. Hey. Thank y'all for y'all likes, y'all comments, and y'all subscriptions. Remember to take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Not every message is for you. Not and that's any day, you know. So, so let's get right to it. Holy Spirit, what is it that you want us to know? Somebody trying to be vulnerable. Somebody's ready to be vulnerable with you. Someone is ready to let you know that they weren't fully honest with you. They had some hidden things that they kept from you. They had some things that they kept from you that were hidden um, to the natural eye just as well. They were very secretive. Thought that they had time to be in this um, secretive mode towards you. Didn't think that you would walk away, but you did. Now, now they're they wanting to come and be honest with you. Procrastination. Yeah. They, they thinking, but they still procrastinate, trying to think about what can they do because they know you've walked away. You no longer are interested in the connection. Mm. Clarity. You got clarity about a situation that they were not, they were, they weren't fully honest about. They were very dishonest about something, and they kept it in the dark from you. And they thought that they had time to clear this something up without you ever knowing. But they know that you found out. They know that you've been shown. Um, they know that you have a high intu intuitive mindset just as well. They know that you 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 easily see see through the window. You see through the blinds. You see through the curtains. You know, it's no illusions being put over you. And now they're thinking like, okay, so how am I gonna come back in to you know to whoever I'm speaking to? How am I gonna come back into this person's life after they've walked away from me? How am I going to walk back into their life and be vulnerable and let them know that I was I was dishonest and that they are the ones that I truly want to be with? What can I do to get their attention? Yeah. Something on this intervention, Holy Spirit. And now they want to be honest and honest with you about whatever this is they lied about. Yep, because they know um, we got promises and separation is came out over here. Um, yeah, they know that you walked away from them, and now they're trying to find out a way to come back in. They want they 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 trying to find a way to walk back in to 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 have you walk back into their life. No, after you don't walk away, they they ready to be they ready to be really vulnerable now. They ready to open their heart. They're ready to be truthful because they haven't been truthful. They have been wearing a false hat. You know, had things kept in the dark, and now that you're gone, they ready to come forward with these promises. Of um these promises of 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 of, of ego deaths and uh, fresh starts and knowing that um there were things uh they see things your way now your perspective like their um the way that they grew up and their insecurities um were a big hindrance in y'all relationship. Their insecurities and their ego and prideful ways was a big hindrance in your relationship. So you left. 
You left the relationship. And now they realizing, you know, after you done left, that you are a part of them. You are, you mirror every part of who they are. You are a direct reflection of them. And you and, and, and in and in seeing that you you influence them to cut ties with things that no longer serve them. To have confidence, to let go of deception and immaturity and stop hiding secrets and for once be loyal. Instead of living in an immature state of mind and trying to and have the intention. Have the intention to love someone completely in an honest state of mind. Yep. Deception. And, and and honesty is at the bottom of the deck. Detachment. Yeah, he, he still need to go through. He's still resisting a lot of things. And because you've isolated and you found you, 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 you love yourself more. You can hold on to the memories, but your self-esteem is much higher, you know, than to sit around and allow someone to um, lie to you. To uh, keep try to keep you blindfolded to the truth, and then after you walk away, they still want to come in, knowing that you know something because you don't walk away, right? But their intentions still are deceptive. They still have deceptive intentions. That's the thing. So why even come in and try to be vulnerable? Because because we finna see why. Because that don't make sense. You still got deceptive intentions. Five of Cups. What I say? They feeling remorseful. They feeling regretful. You know what I'm saying? Because you found out before they could tell you. Because remember earlier I said they thought they had the time to clear up the blind, the, the bullshit they was doing in the background before you found out. But that ain't how it worked. You feel me? Your angels, your ancestors, all the, your Holy Spirit, it ain't finna let you be out here dumb. Especially concerning love. Because you give yourself so much love and so much attention. You give God so much love and so much attention. You, you know, you just give so much love and attention within that can't nobody come in and just get over on you. And now they feeling, he feeling, whoever this is, they feeling guilty. They feeling remorseful, resentful, regretful. Because you found out. You were told the truth. You know what's going on. And you know why. And the, now, and they know why you have walked away from their life. They know why. But the thing is. They still coming in with deceptive energy. Why is deception here? Let me um, shuffle my cards. I got the two of pentacles. Juggling something, huh? Let me see. Why is deception here, Holy Spirit? Two swords. Hmm. Because he's still trying to keep some hidden from you. They still trying to keep some hidden for you, whether this is male or female. They still trying to keep some hidden from you.
Empress. She's still trying to keep something hidden from you. He's still trying to keep something hidden from you. They still trying to keep some. It's still somebody in the background. It's something he ain't saying. Hmm. He definitely trying to keep something in the background while still gaining getting get, while still gaining your affection in return but i want to know why why he's definitely he's trying to gain your affection back trying to get you back to walk back into his life through whatever he's trying to come up with that's gonna that's gonna get your attention again but it's still somebody in the background that he has not completely let go of that's where the deception is coming in at. He hasn't completely let something go. What is this, Holy Spirit? What is it that this, this person hasn't completely let go of? What is it? Ego? Oh, somebody he may work with? Wow. This somebody he worked with, this person may have had... Mm. Whoever this is, they have formed a work relationship together just as well. With this temperance card here. And in the Empress. Yeah. He he whoever this is, she This is somebody he they work together just as well. They working together and he's trying to, he still wants to keep the, I'm hearing the money that comes, the money that comes with working with this person. But this person has been a big problem within y'all's relationship or courtship, whatever, whether you know it or not. This is the secret, the secret. This is the secret. This is a big secret. It's something with, with this temperance. Who is this temperance energy? Because this is two different energies. Who is this temperance energy? Um, Holy Spirit. Who is this temperance energy? The devil and the three of cups, y'all. The devil and the three of cups. That's who this temperance energy is. Oh my God, I'm going to put her ass right over here. She is somebody who is within his social circle, who may be prophets, but she's, all, she's attached to social status and material status just as well. And that's what's keeping him stuck. Because he he refuses to let this go so that he can have a real um union with you. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you can have a union. She she fall it and uh, the devil fall right up under the two swords. The Knight of Wands, right up under the Empress. Yup, this is they been having a love affair. That's what they been having, y'all. Somebody, whoever this is, that's your person being messing around with somebody they work with. It's very, it's an uncommitted affair, but it's enjoyable. You hear me? And she, he and he, both of them are attached to material status. And that's where a lot of the deception is going to come in because he hasn't gotten rid of this person. But he still thinks he's going to come in and have this beautiful, bright future with you. If he, he feel like if he recognized you, 
as being like number one even though he being in the background fucking off with this person right or she being in the background fucking off with you know whatever however you take it take it how it resonates but he feels like if you he does that or they feel like if they do that give you some type of recognition child you hear me maybe some type of monetary recognition yeah so you can move on to calmer waters so you won't be mad and you can accept this relationship between them like it's like he's almost saying i'll stop fucking her but i ain't gonna stop working with her like she bringing in money she helping me do this woo 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 but it's still deception there. I don't know. It's still I'm still picking up on the deception that he's not trying to tell you that though. He wants you to move on with the six of swords. He wants you to allow this to improve. Y'all relationship to improve. While he still get money with this person. Yep. With the ace of wands. He wants y'all on relationship to improve. He want to work with you. That's what he going to try to do. He's going to try to send you a monetary value. Some type of monetary gift he's going to give you to say, you know, can you work with me? Can you help me on this new creative project that I'm doing? And he thinking that's going to um, get him back in the door with you. Get, you. get you to walk back into his life. He or she, whoever this is, world on the bottom deck. They take it out of because he's ready for this new beginning and he want to use your creativity, he want to use your insight. Will of Fortune, he wants to improve the relationship between you and him once again. I must say, and the way that he feels like he can do it is with money. I am not lying. He, he feels like the way that he can improve this is by offering you a change of money, a change, a lump change of money to for your insight, for your gift of creativity or whatever. But this, but this woman or whoever this is is still in the background. And I do hear him saying, I'm not fucking her. I'm not fucking her. That's what I hear. So... Yeah, he feels like you need to be noticed. He feels like if he puts you on notice with this six of wands, he feels like if he puts you on notice in this five of swords, I just cut the deck on. Yeah, he feels like if he puts you on notice, then that'll sort of break the barrier. You'll be like, well, he can't be with um, such and such if he, you know what I'm saying, putting me on blast like that. But listen, he still ain't telling you the truth about some stuff with this person. Or he or she ain't telling you the truth. They, whatever. Take the pronouns how you want to take them. The emperor. There he go. And, he, and the empress is out here too. Yep. He's ready to um commit to you. He's ready. He's gonna offer you a business offer so he can get back in your life. That's the only way he can get back into your life. And he knows that. But remember that he's still being deceptive. Remember, she's still being deceptive. It's something, you know. Mm. Yep. Yep. And he is going to stand real strong in this position. Oh, oh, oh. Listen. And he is going to stand real strong in his position. When he offer you this, he knows that what he's going to offer you, you're not going to let down. You're not going to like back down from it. You're going to bite. He know you're going to bite this offer. I am not lying. I am not lying. I had a dream the other night that... um. About some by my cash out, yeah, that might have be significance for this um, reading right here. 
you know, that money might come through the cash app. He might, it ain't, you know what I'm saying? You could PDF sign your name on the dotted line and he cash app you that bread. That's how good it is. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing I could say, say you know. But whatever it is, he's ready to take charge. He's ready to, um, he's ready to do this. And he's ready to make this official. He's ready to bring you back into his life. But there are some things that you're going to have to talk about. Y'all are going to have to get over. And he's going to have to be very truthful and honestly vulnerable. And you're going to have to make the choice if you're going to want to be around this woman. Since she's bringing him so much money. You're going to have to make that choice. I am not lying. This is the reading.